It turns out that I was able to save this playthrough, and all that I needed to do was to play through Devon Seven's segment again. If we speak to him about wagering before the flashback, it triggers the conversation about the secret code. And that means he does not bug out after the flashback. So, let's take a look at this high frequency jammer that he gave us. We need to set this to the number that Fleebix gave to us earlier. And that number... is 46.2. And let's switch this on. There we go. Now let's take a look at this energy detector. Transmission received from a nearby energy burst detector displaying There are two energy spikes. The first one was when we saw the repairman earlier. And I believe this was when he was fixing the advertisement sign. And possibly the terminal. And there is a second one here at 2003. Which we have no idea what this is or where this happens. Now we do have this vid disk. Which should help us out. We just need to find a place to actually view it. And we do that by going upstairs. While I'm here, let's have a look at this vending machine. From the look of this relic, it hasn't dispensed a thing in a couple of eons. Nevertheless, it looks ready and willing to swallow up my nuggets. Always a pleasure. No effect, though. There's enough space for a person back there. As long as I didn't mind getting intimate with a few decades worth of dust bunnies. Please make your selection. Okay, what shall we buy? Let's buy a... Phlegm shield. Deducting two nuggets from your credit chip. Hey, where's our phlegm shield? Deducting two nuggets from your credit chip. No! Give me my stuff. <clears throat> Always a pleasure. No effect, though. Fine, let's go. Now, Gorb is the manager of the first ten school and he has some surveillance equipment in his office. If we had approached him earlier, before we won Bibblebonk, then he would have turned us away. Better be damn important. But now that we have some cash, he will let us in. You look like someone I can do business with. Come in, come in. I'm really glad I don't have a smell sensor. The air is almost solid in here. Nice. Right, here it is. And we use the code that we attained from BetTaker, which was 294. Nice wood. Probably from Armpit 5, before it was deforested. K 
Keep your melanin-infested hands off my things. Spoil sport. Okay, let's speak to the guy. You, uh, wouldn't mind if I searched through some of your folds and body cavities, would you? You wouldn't mind if I melted you with a blaster, would you? Oh, phew. I don't believe the blobster language has a word for hygiene. Hi. My name's Alias Node. How are ya? I was fine, until some human creep came in and started wasting my time. How rude. Oh, Lord, what has that Marmalai minx been saying now? I tell you, it doesn't matter what race they are. If you let a woman rub you down with liniment a few times, she practically thinks it's an engagement. Wow. As soon as he walked into the bar, I knew he was the right being for the job, born to bartend. She's pretty new here. I don't know if she's going to work out. She's got the moves, but she's also got a big chip on her shoulder. I know a lot of creeps around here can get out of line. But does she have to send every one of them to the hospital? What of it? You humans drink coffee. I use an amphetamine spray. I am not worried about security. I can take care of myself. 
I just need to keep out the riffraff, or I'd never have the time to run this place. Speaking of which, are you ever going to tell me your deal? Mm, maybe. If I do, it'll be with your head. If we're gonna do any kind of deal, you better remember rule number one. Gorb gives the orders. Right, it does not matter what line of dialogue that we choose. If we chat to Gorb, he will kick us out. What we need to do here is we need to create a distraction. Well, if that's a humidifier, it's not working too well. It's still as dry as the Great Northern Desert in here. And whatever that mist is, it's pretty odorless. Have you noticed that your message light's been blinking for ages? Yes, yes, I know. Let's get on with it. Right, while he is distracted, let's go and take a look at this vid disc. This one here is useless, as you can see. You don't see these things around much these days. Not since vid discs were the loser in the big vid disc vid chip consumer war about 20 years back. Right, we need to find out what happens at 2003. Oh, no, I forgot that there is 100 minutes in the hour. Oh. Now, I'm guessing that is our culprit as the band leader. No, wait, the band leader was the one who, who was just killed. Now, who was that Marmalai? Was that the one that we found earlier? Let's go and explore that corridor and see what we can find. I don't know how you could have managed it, but you have jammed my Zettelbug transmission. You are becoming a nuisance, alias Node. I never anticipated that a human could be so bothersome. I don't like surprises. Stay out of my way and don't force my hand. After all, it holds the life of your beloved partner. Hey, two limbs. I bet you can't pick your ears and your nose at the same time. I can too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, you guys, lay off a node. He's okay, see? And a lot more decent than some marmalize I know. He's a cop, just like the rest of us. And the next guy who gives him a hard time will have to answer to me. Uh, yeah, he's always yeah, whatever he is. Uh, thanks for sticking up for me, Max. You're the best friend I ever had. Ah, uh, enough with the mush, Alias. It's 
It's already tail deep in here. Let's go grab some brewskis, okay? It appears that we have what ancient humans called a Mexican standoff. You have my data cart and I have your partner. It seems obvious to me that the sensible solution would be a simple exchange. You haven't enough proof to apprehend me, and I am beginning to tire of this game. We have plenty of proof right now. But let's see if we can find some more. If I have enough time, I will visit Winky Howdy's. This was the corridor that we saw. Where is the camera? Let us end this stalemate. Where have you hidden the data cart? Getting scared, are we? Since you are here with the data cart, my son must have disguised himself as a police officer according to our plan, and is most certainly dead by now. Oh! Hi there. Well, I guess we can take him off the list of suspects, huh? It seems like the Marmalite are getting killed off in this game. I mean, this is, this is the second Marmalite corpse that we found. And now we have Max to save as well. Hello. Nice to meet you. Sluggo. Molassoids are nothing but big, smelly, slimy, ugly, overgrown snails. But they hate being told that. Oh, you've got one hard shell. Ow! Something kicked me. Gross, drippy slime. Lovely. Hi, my name's Alias Node. How are you? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> I had forgotten that you bipeds often exchange such pleasantries before experiencing the usual three weeks of small talk. My name is Sluggo. I think we can safely assume he's innocent. It'd take him the better part of a day to get out of the bar. Attention spaceport travelers. The departing flight for Carcass 4 is on schedule and will depart from gate 927H at 2250. Thank you. 
Yeah, that is a reminder to tell us that time is almost up. Has anybody ever told you that you look just like Jerry Lewis? Somebody dumped it here a little while ago. I got a good whiff of them. They had a distinctive odor. I shrug, except I don't have any shoulders. Okay, I'll try to remember to put that on my list of things to do. I hope you're not here to drop off a dead body also. Yeah, well at least he's not starting to smell yet. Are you kidding? Marmalize smell bad when they're still alive. Did you see who dropped the body here? No. It ran away before I could turn around. It sure left a smelly trail, though. Any chance you could lead me to the killer? Sure. It left a good odor trail. Just follow me. Right, and how long is that going to take? You only have 44 more moves. To avenge my son's death, I must exact the cost from the life of your partner. Even you can understand my need for justice. I had great plans for my son. He was to continue the dynasty of criminal genius I've built over a lifetime of brilliant capers. Now, it will end with me. But it will also end with you, alias Node. You and your careless partner. Now that we have the plans, we begin our escape. Aha, do you see those two parallel lines in the air where the dust motes seem to sparkle a bit? Yeah, Pop, I know, I know. A peon beam alarm trigger. We just need to duck under the upper beam and step over the lower beam. Piece of cake. I'll go first. Careful, careful. There's one leg over, and there's the other. Whew! Wait, you shifted into a marmalade. You have a supporting tail. Whoops. Oh dear.
this is a very short flashback well it would be now that the alarm's been tripped that egress may no longer be viable now what pop now we escape this way Perhaps we can scale the side of the building using the vines outside. There doesn't appear to be a latch. It seems like we are allergic to something in here. Before I finish this off, let's look at the map. Okay, so there is no map. The Dingley Eye Stalk, Jorf's Bar. Anyway, let's have a closer look at these flower vines. Blink bloom flowers. Why did it have to be this? Blink bloom flowers. So it turns out that our new friend here is allergic to blink bloom flowers. And this is how we catch him. How much time do I have left? 41. Hmm, I might have enough time to visit Winky Howdy's before I finish. Although, I will keep it brief. Psst! Hoo-hoo! I'm over here! The plant! No, I'm not in the plant! I am the plant! Hi there! I guess that plan is currently occupied by the disembodied intelligence who calls himself Gus. Well, it's a big galaxy. Anything is possible. Hoo-hoo! I'm a whisperee! We're disembodied intelligences. We live in a host for a few hours until it starts to rot, and then we move on. It's a great life if you like variety. Would you like to be a host for a few hours? Ah, um, second thought, never mind. I wasn't a human once. Ooh, ooh. Most tedious five hours I ever spent. Everyone was constantly coming up to him and telling him he looked just like Jerry Lewis. Eh, can't help you there, pal. <laughs> I hardly ever hang on a host long enough to learn much. Ooh, I'd love to help you out, pal. But this host isn't particularly agile. Know what I mean? Ask me again when I'm in a real host. Ta-ta! Man, oh man, am I getting tired of being in a plant. Photosynthesis is for the birds. Have you been uh, inside anyone today who uh, had memories of any recent criminal activity? Oh, sure. This morning I had a blobster host with a criminal record as long as a Nurian sand eel. And around uh, lunchtime, I was occupying a cockroach who had only recently stolen a crumb from another bug. <laughs> Do I get around or what? 
Uh, don't you think this lifestyle of yours is somewhat gruesome? Oh, what? Just because I occupy creatures until they rot and then I move along? Hey, how about you, huh? Shipping creatures off to a slaughterhouse, frying slabs of their bloody flesh, and shoving them into a body orifice one piece at a time? Ooh, ooh. Now that's what I call gruesome. So, you plan on being in this host for a while? Mm -mm -mm. Soon as I catch my breath, I'm out of here. But where to next? Let's see, I'm in the mood for uh, thinking, 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 thinking. Oh, yeah, no patio furniture. Or maybe a nice little historical monument. <laughs> Who knows? Hey, brother, life's a smorgasbord. And now we have a history lesson. I'm starting to get the feeling the folks who threw this theme bar together did about 15 minutes of research. Okay. Wait, Tiger? So that's what a tiger looks like, huh? Sometimes I think I'll learn more about my Earth heritage. That's a cowboy, huh? It's downright embarrassing how little I know about my own planet's history. Wait, is that Steve Moretzky? If not, it looks very similar to him. This cardboard cutout hides me pretty well. You're not going to learn much from hiding in a deserted room, boss. Good point. Oh, that feels better. I'm starting to get a leg cramp from standing so still. We can't actually do a lot in this bar. It's more just for show. Now here's something you don't see every day. A genuine, authentic reproduction of a facsimile of a player piano. Hold on, that's the forbidden dance. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, before I do, I need to show you what happens when we select arrest. If I arrest this bird without evidence, I'm the one who's gonna rot in the slammer. And that's the same dialogue we get with everyone. Right, let me just check the time. 20 moves, easy. We know that our friend is allergic to blink bloom flowers, so we, ne we need to find a drink that contains blink bloom. Here we go. Serious sneeze. Suck my sucker. 
and you bleak blinker. Let's order Suck My Sucker. Order received. Please proceed to the bar for pickup. Thank you for using Mr. Drink Vendor 2000. Right. As far as I am aware, we can only use this drink in one location. And to save time, I'll just go straight there. Now, can you guess who is the shapeshifter? Our friend is sitting here. This will be the last action of the game. Thank you for watching this very, well, I want to say interesting playthrough. This has been my first time playing this game from start to finish and I've loved it. It's been great. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the ending. Welcome back, Max. What did Doc say? Well, it'll be a while before I can spend time in dark, cramped spaces without getting a little freaked. But basically, I was already so screwed up, the kidnapping didn't do much. <laughs> and hey, for once I saved your life. Finally, we're even. Well, I wouldn't go that far, Alias. I'm still ahead 14 to 1. 14? You're not counting that time in the sewer, are you? The sewer? Oh, yeah! <laughs> The sewer makes 50! Hey, 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 guys. Sorry to interrupt this vital discussion, but the Sarge wants to see you. Something about promotions and a medal, I think. I would have gotten out of that one without your help, partner. For that matter, I'm not sure I'd count the vulture attack either. What? What are you talking about? Why, you would have been picked cleaner than a surgeon's scalpel if it wasn't for me! Hello, Sergeant Wabaksha. This is Alias Nodes PDA. I'm afraid Alias and Max are detained. <laughs> 